Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. It is a beautiful day. And I have not yet had a chance to open up the February Paper Pumpkin, which is called A Lovely Day. This is the February 2020. And the first thing you may notice is the box is now shrink wrapped in plastic. And I love it because it's going to protect the box from the weather. Also, the mailing labels can actually be peeled off. So you can gift this to somebody and it's it's like it's like perfect. It's brand new. The plastic, you could recycle it at places that recycle plastic. I know that there's some people that don't like it because of the environment, but I just encourage everybody to recycle as much as you can. So I have seen sneak peeks of this. All right, I love the new design. All right, so this is also a little flyer about celebration. This kit does coordinate with the Happy Birthday to You stamp set, which is in the celebration catalog. So if you spend $50 in either the annual catalog or the mini catalog, you can get the Happy Birthday to You stamp set for free. And it does coordinate with this. And then the other side is for the March kit, and the March kit will have an extra stamp set in it because March is our anniversary month. So it's going to be seven years next month that we've been doing Paper Pumpkin. And I have been doing Paper Pumpkin pretty much since the beginning with a few months that I did not get the kit. All right, so here is the stamp set. Beautiful flower, birthday cake, some sentiments. What do they say? You're a great reason to, and then celebrate, have a lovely birthday. There's lovely. Congratulations. And there's some layers for the cake, so you can make that cake whatever flavor you wanted to. Ink spot of the month is Rococo Rose. If you guys are new to my channel, um, thank you. Please click subscribe and follow. I am trying to do more videos. If you follow me, you know that I do try to save everything that I can that comes with the paper pumpkin kit. This tissue paper is awesome because you can stamp on it. You can um, emboss on it and you can use this in backgrounds for projects. So I save that. I try to be pretty thrifty. Some people might call me a hoarder, but I don't, even though I do hoard. I just try to save things. All right, so every kit inside the box is shrink wrapped in more plastic. So again, I just encourage you to recycle that. Let's just turn it around. All right, so there's the full color cover. And then the instructions, you've got six steps. The sec, the, sec, the uh, instructions are in black and white. The bottom is a ruler, which is nice because if you need to measure any twine, I'm not sure if this kit has any twine, but some kits do come with twine. So if you need to measure, you just use that. You don't even need a, you don't even need a ruler. The paper pumpkin kit is great because everything you need to do it is pretty much in the kit. When you sign up, your first monthly kit will include a stamp block. I'm not sure if this big flower will fit the, the um, paper pumpkin block. That's the only thing I have to say right now. Let's see, these are pretty. So this is, a, this is some ink splatters in the background. This looks like maybe rich raspberry, but it coordinates with the Rococo Rose. So there's three sheets of that, and then there's three sheets of this. This These punch out. 
So there's the card front. There's the white on the back. You could certainly do this, do something with this. Use the um, background for something. So here's a watercolor look with some more sp paint splatters. The little um, edge is very pretty. You can also use the background if you don't like the front or if you want to do something different. The envelopes I thought were really neat. They're all um, have a design on the inside and they're a little bit different because it opens on the end. And I was actually thinking about measuring this and seeing if I could recreate this using um, you know, my scoreboard and my punch board. I'm not even sure I would need the punch board for it though. I don't think I would. That's pretty cool. Let me look at the coordinating colors of the kit. So the coordinating colors are Petal Pink, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock, Rich Razzleberry, Rococo Rose, and Old Olive. So this is Old Olive. And there's the Petal Pink outside, and then the Rich Razzleberry on the inside. So there's one, two, these are foam. So you've got the sentiments that you pop up and they're foam and they're also adhesive. But I'm going to try something because I think if I use the leftover pieces of this foam, I may be able to die cut it either with my die cutting machine or maybe even I'll, I'm going to try punching it out with one of our punches. And we don't have very much of it left over, but it's kind of exciting. And I bet you could stamp on this as well. All right, here's the pool party envelopes with the uh, pretty peacock inside. All right, here's a card. So this is a really neat little fold here. That's cool. A little bit different than normal. So there's three of these. Three of these, and then you have the banners to do the stamping on for the sentiments. And it looks like the foil is Rococo Rose. So I cannot wait to do this kit. And I'm wicked bummed because I normally get I was getting uh, three kits a month and I stopped it in December because I wasn't sure how I would feel about having three of those kits. And I was okay with that decision, but last month I kind of wanted more than one kit. And this month I definitely wish I had gotten another one. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to get three kits for next month because I probably am not going to want all those stamps, but um, I'm kind of kicking myself. I only have one kit for this one. So I'm hoping they have extra kits. And if they do have extra kits, they will post them on the Stampin' Up! Um, site on the Monday after the 20th of the month. And they sometimes they just have refills. Sometimes they have full kits. And I'm hoping that they have... I'll even be happy with a refill. Um, oh, there's also some sequins, and these look like they're Rococo Rose sequins. And this month they gave us big, the, the full size mini dimensionals, which is awesome. I love the full size. This is, uh, it looks like the, ro the rose foil as well. Oh, I can't wait to do this. All right, so everybody, I hope you have a great day, and I will... Um, get to work here and I'll show you how I did the cards and I'll show you some alternatives as well. I hope you have a great day.